hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding the constraints in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 15 development tutorials so the constraints is used in order to validate the data so there might be use case where we have to validate the data entered by user suppose what we can say suppose if i open the patient's form and here we have an age field right now it's a computed field based on date of birth but let's assume where age is a manually entering field so the data entered in that field must be a non-zero positive number like an age cannot be minus one minus two or minus five so the user must enter only a positive value in that field suppose if user enter a negative value in the age field we have to block and we have to show a message like age must be a positive number in such cases we will be using the constraints in you in odoo that is to validate the data or to accept the data in a particular format so we will be using constraints in that case so in odoo the constraints are of two types that is either we can do or apply constraints from the python side using odoo or aram or we can use sql constraints so in this video we will be discussing about the sql constraints and the python constraints we will be creating a separate video so let's see how we can apply sql constraints in odoo so what we will be doing is that if i go to the configurations here we have tags model where we just create the tags for the patients so first of all what we will be discussing is about the unique constraints so here we can see we have tags like vip kid adult ceo miss and some test data so there is no point of entering two vips so here you can see currently we have a vip and there might be chance where user come and create again a vip so here you can see we have data duplications so in order to prevent we must apply some constraints like a name should be unique we should not allow to duplicate a record with same name so what we will be discussing is about how to apply constraints so that the name will not get duplicated so currently here you can see you have vip and here we have vip so i will delete one of them and what i'll do i'll apply sql constraints in order to prevent the duplication in the name field so let's see how we can achieve that so i'll go to the pie charm and here we have the custom add-ons and here we have the om hospital module so i'll go to the models folder and here we have the patient tag model so here we have to apply the constraints so let me navigate to the uru source code and let me search for an existing sample so here you have the find in path and if you search for sql constraints we'll see a lot of use case inside the old source code so here we have some sample and what i'll do i'll simply copy this one so here you can see you have got a sample sql constraints inside which model base module of odoo so i'll simply copy that and i will put it inside the patient tag.py file so after the field declaration i'll simply paste the constraint so the format of entering the constraint is underscore sql underscore constraints equal to then inside the square bracket you can enter the constraint so here you can see this is the format of entering the constraint you have to give a name first so unique name so i'll give for a name for the constraint should be specified so this is the you can give any name like unique patient name or unique tag name anything you can give here i'll give unique tag name then you have to add your constraint here so this is the format of sql constraint you have to use unique key because our name should be unique that is name should not be duplicate so we'll be using unique unique constraint unique which field name unique of name then here you can give a message like if it is violated system should throw an error message so i'll 
put the message here name must be unique so what i have done is i have simply added underscore 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 sql underscore constraints equal to inside the square bracket as a tuple give a name then your constraint that is here i am applying unique constraint unique of name i'm saying the name must be unique if it is violated name must be unique this warning should be shown so let's see what happens so i'll just restart the service as i have made changes inside the python now i'll navigate to the ui and i'll upgrade om hospital module so from here i'll upgrade om hospital module so you can see the module has been upgraded now i'll come to the configuration tags and what i'll do i'll try to create a new record with the same name as vip and let me try to save you can see a validation error has been thrown name must be unique which is coming from here so as we are entering a duplicated name so here you can see we have already got a tag with name vip system is not allowing us to create a tag with same name name must be unique so if i change the name to vip2 and if i click on save system will accept so this is how we can apply sql constraint that is unique constraint in odoo so unique constraint can be applied based on multiple field so in order to that you can give like this suppose i'll show you suppose if i am archiving this suppose i'm archiving this patient that is setting active false we don't have a vip now so if i try to create again vip and if i click on save still it is showing right now we don't have an active vip here still it is showing so there is a case we have to check two fields at same time that is we have to check whether active is there so we can put the active field active name comma active so in this case system will check for the combination of these two field that is whether there is matching with name field and active field so let's see what happens so currently right now when we archived the record so if i filter archive archive equal to false so here you can see we have one active equal to false vip and active false and if i when we try to create system is still showing the error but we have added active here so let's upgrade and see the difference so i'll go to the apps menu i'll go to the apps menu and i'll upgrade om hospital so the module is getting upgraded and if i come to the configuration and if i try to create again vip i guess system will not throw the error save you can see it get saved because if you check we don't have a vip and active false we have only vip with active false existing here you can see we have a vip with active true there is no another vip with active true so if i try to create again vip and active true system will show the warning the other one is we have archived active false this is name and active false and this is name and active true so this is how you can give as a combination of fields so i hope you understood how to give the unique constraint in Odoo. So before winding up, we have one more type. So what I will do is that I will add a field here called sequence of type integer. So sequence fields dot integer. And I'll give the string as sequence. And I'll add the same field to the corresponding view. So let me go to the views folder. Here we have patient tag view.xml and this is the tag view form view. So after the name field, I will add this field sequence and let me restart and let's upgrade the module. So I'll go to the apps menu and I'll upgrade OM hospital module. So you can see the module has been upgraded. And if I come to the tags, 
and if i open any of the tag here you can see you have sequence field now we will be discussing about how to set a sql constraint so that the value entered inside the sequence field is greater than zero so here you can see currently the value of sequence field is zero we have to add some constraints so that user must enter a non-zero positive value in this field so right now if you save you can see system is accepting that if i try to create a new tag test est and if i save you can see zero value is accepting so i need to prevent the zero values so let's see how we can do that so i'll go to the pycharm and we have to add one more constraint so let me search for a sample inside the Udo source code we have one check constraint so let me check for a sample this one we can use this one let me close this what i'll do is that i'll duplicate this and i'll name it as let me search for once again yeah i'll name it as check sequence check sequence i'll just name it as check sequence and here instead of unique you have to add like this check sequence greater than zero sequence must be greater than zero if not the error must be raised so the error should be sequence must be non zero positive number i'll give the warning like this what is here is that you have to put a comma first so when you have multiple constraints you can do inside this list as a tuple comma separated tuples i put a comma here and in the next line i have given the name as check sequence and here we have to enter the condition so i'm writing here the condition as check the value of sequence field if it is greater than zero no issues if this condition is violated this warning has to be raised that is sequence must be non-zero positive number so let's restart the service and let's upgrade the module and see what happens so i'll go to the apps menu and i'll upgrade om hospital module so the module is getting upgraded and if i come back to the configuration tags and if i try to create a new record test and here you can see sequence is zero and if you click on save the system is accepting zero and we are not getting any error message so i think this tag is not working because of existing records so we already have got a lot of records with the condition doesn't satisfy that is if you check this tag adult sequence is zero so what i'll do is that i'll delete all the constraint all the tags from the db delete and let me filter active is false and let me delete everything delete and what i will do i'll upgrade the module again so if you have the data in the database that violates the given constraint the, the constraints will not work so i have cleared all the data so this has been loaded again from the data file so let me try to edit this if i click on save or let me try to create a new record f f you can see the validation is coming now it, show, it says sequence must be non-zero positive number so here you can see the validation is thrown now if i enter some value over here like one and if i click on save there is no error so if i try to create a new record with value minus four if i click on save you can see sequence must be non-zero positive number so if i enter three and if i click on save it is accepted so this is how we can add sql constraints in odoo 
So I hope you understood this video. If you have any doubts, feedbacks or suggestions, don't hesitate to share with us over the email that is odumates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in the social medias like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So that's it for the day. Have a nice day. Thank you.